This video will cover the topic, solving a word problem using the law of cosines. Let's take a look at an example problem to get a better understanding of this topic. Austin is flying two kites. He has 96 feet of string out to one kite and 114 feet out to the other kite. The angle between the strings is 31 degrees as shown in the figure below. Find the distance between the kites. We are then told to carry your intermediate computations to at least four decimal places and to round your answer to the nearest tenth of a foot. Using the image, we can create a triangle and assign variables. We were asked to find the distance between the kites, or side A of the triangle. This can be done using the law of cosines. What is the law of cosines? The law of cosines states that there is a triangle ABC with side A with an opposite angle of A, side B with an opposite angle of B, and side C with an opposite angle of C. We can see this demonstrated in the figure we have drawn below, as the side that is opposite the angle has the same letter. The equations shown here are used to solve for an unknown side or angle of the triangle. In our problem, sides B and C and the angle A are known. We want to solve for side A, so we will use the equation A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine of A. How do we solve for side A? First, we have to change a squared into a. We can do this by taking the square root of both sides. This leaves us with a is equal to the square root of b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of a. We substitute in b, c, and angle a. Now we can solve for side a. We get 58.7. The distance between the kites is 58.7 feet. In summary, first we create a triangle and assign variables to every side and angle. Then we figure out which variable we are trying to solve for and select the correct equation. Once the equation is chosen, the known variables are substituted in. Finally, the equation is solved for to find the unknown side or angle. Perfect! It seems like you're ready to solve more word problems using the law of cosines.